Good evening. We begin with breaking news in Windsor where a building has collapsed. Workers were cleaning snow from the roof of the massive structure just before it came down. News Ace Bob Wilson live on the scene in Windsor tonight with late details. Bob? Right now, all you can see is the facade of the building, but let's go straight to the VO to show you exactly what it looks like as this mammoth building came down. It's Connecticut's largest freestanding building. We're told it's the size of two football stadiums, not fields, but actual stadiums. There's a motocross track inside. It's Mototown, USA. And this afternoon, just about 3 o'clock, the owner was up on top with some workers. They're trying to clear the snow. They've been doing it for three days, when all of a sudden, they heard creaking and groaning, and the roof on the far side started to go. They ran for safety. They got to this front facade part, turned around, and the building was gone. We're going to now show you pictures inside of some of the damage of the giant twisted beams. Now, keep in mind, these beams are enormous. They are probably almost two feet wide by maybe a foot thick. Very large beams that just got twisted and, and knocked to the ground. That's how much weight and power was behind this. The front door of the facility got blown out. Now, we talked with the uh, police about it, the fire about it, and they said nobody was hurt. That's the good news. But the call didn't come in that way. Well, when we got here, we had reports that there were at least six people trapped that were on the roof that went down with it. Uh, as, as I said, we found out, fortunately, that was not the case. So we had Town of Windsor crews here uh, to help clear around the side if we needed to get in. Uh, obviously, fire trucks, just in case. We didn't know if we were going to have a major search and rescue operation. Now, this is what it looks like inside. I was in this building a little while ago. News 8 did some stories on it. It's an enormous building. There's a racetrack inside with a motocross. And interestingly enough, there's also a Gold's Gym, a Dunkin' Donuts, a Blimpies on the outside and like a strip mall. And there were people in there as well. I talked to the owner of the Blimpies. He said as soon as he heard it start to screech and groan and come down, he got all his employees out. And then he ran next door, ran back into the building told the Dunkin' Donuts employee, get out, get out now. They all went running out into the parking lot, and they said it just sounded like a train ripped through the building. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Windsor, News 8.